and the Lord, ye both way of Oku and Serpo, Amen. Dear faithful, I am Archpriest Ernestus Manugian, coming to you today from St. Gregory's Church of Philadelphia. At the threshold of the Feast of Pentecost, I greet you all with the blessing of the life-giving Holy Spirit. As you know, Pentecost is the story of the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and other followers of Christ who were gathered in the upper room and were engaged in prayer and worship as we read in the second chapter of the book of Acts. This event indeed ended up providing a big impetus for the apostles to launch their missionary work. The life-giving Holy Spirit invigorated and enlisted them into the army of the witnesses of Christ. The frightened disciples of yesterday were such emboldened that became daring and determined preachers who spread the, the light of the Gospels all over the world. The Holy Spirit became that divine force which rallied and consolidated the persecuted and divided apostles and bonded them together with one common vision. Indeed, this event became a unifying moment. And once unified, no one would be able to break them apart anymore. Dear faithful, in our age and time, and especially in this extended pandemic era, we need badly the jolt of the same spirit in order to maintain our sanity, to not lose sight of belonging to a church community while sheltering in our homes, but rather to look forward to getting involved in our church as people who are equipped with a common goal and vision to further the cause of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that hope comes to us through the story of the Pentecost because that event is the story of the cementing the followers of Christ with one common vision. Dear faithful, whether in pandemic time or not, I'm a believer that Armenian Church, in Armenia or diaspora, needs a radical self-evangelization. We need badly the jolt of the Holy Spirit to awaken the sleepers among us, to move and shake all those who are on the periphery and bring them in and incorporate them into the body of Christ. We need to be healed of our spiritual apathy and to dust off our true Christian image. I want you to know that we are not defined by our history, by, but rather by what we do today as Christians. The cross we wear around our necks does not make us a Christian, but our readiness to let the crucified Lord work and breathe through us does. Baptizing our children does not make them Christians, but bring them closer to Christ and raising them up in a Christian household does. Being the first Christian nation is not that important 
but how good a Christians we are today is. So with our revival in mind, let us invite the life-giving Holy Spirit to flood once again our hearts and souls, to fire up our ranks and wake us up from our trance and beseech him with his words of the Armenian hymnal of Pentecost and say, you who always renew your church with your diverse gifts, sparkle once again your children of the Armenian Church, now and forever and ever. Amen.